Hey everybody and welcome back. I uh, haven't seen you guys in two weeks because week one I was like, let me let them watch Rihanna at the Super Bowl. I figured that's what was going on. And then last week I had got a little lazy. Don't hate me. Let's get straight into it. So, um, so this client here I met last summer. This video is from last summer. So hence why I got old faithful blow dryer going on in this video. But um, she had walked up to me. I had spoke on a panel last summer. She walked up to me. was like, I love your work. I watch your channel. And we hit it off. And, you know, when I meet people outside, I always give them my undivided attention. And I always also ask them for their Instagram or I'll tell them, you know, I'll be like, hit me in the DM so I can follow you back. I always do that because I just, you know, I like to stay connected to people. So we did that and we started chopping it up in the DM. And now she's in the chair. <laughs> so... She came in, um, she's getting her hair pressed out and I'm just gonna press it for the weekend. So what that really actually means is that I am not going to overdo it when I press her hair. I'm not gonna do it in small sections. I'm gonna do it nice and full so that she can go straight back to her big curly hair right away. So I'm gonna show you guys, you know, she always wears her hair big and curly. It's so beautiful, so beautiful that I'm like, you wanna get your hair curly? or you want to get it straightened. So we went for the straightened look, but see how beautiful her curls are? I mean, it's just so nice and full. And so I didn't want to do too much. So I'm not going to blow dry it straight as I usually would when I'm doing somebody who is getting a silky, silky press because I'm going to leave a lot of texture and a lot of weight in her hair today. Is anyone here on their heat-free journey or on a heat-free journey? I'm on a heat-free journey right now. It's been a little over two years. My last uh, silk press was in 2021, I want to say. Um, and it wasn't even a silk press. I had the iron on like literally like 380 just because I wanted to get it straight enough to get a really good, decent blunt cut because I, my hair went through something I told y'all I would talk to y'all about it probably a year from now like once I get it completely figured out and because I want to give y'all the right information once I bring it to you guys but yeah it just I had to get it straight enough to get a super blunt cut and so I decided not to put any more heat in it for a while because I just want to keep an eye on my hair and get it as strong as possible so you know, people who don't get heat at all, I, you know, I love that. But it's also a thing where, like right here, when you don't get heat a lot, you don't get to see what your ends absolutely look like. And you want to see a really good visual of your ends so you can get accurate cuts. Now, I know a lot of people get diva cuts. I'm not into diva cuts like that. But if you never get heat, I understand why diva cut is important. And a lot of people like to put that shape into their curls. So I say all that to say, you know, to me, it's important to at least blow your hair out as straight as possible if you can just to get that good cut and get those really bad ends off. Because if you don't, then your hair will start breaking. You know, I like to explain bad ends like pantyhose. So, you know, when you used to wear stockings or if you wear stockings still today, nothing's worse than a run. You get a hole in your stockings and then it starts running. That's exactly how ends work. Once the end split, the split runs up the shaft of the hair and it just, you know, basically just keeps splitting just like a run does in a stocking. So you want to stop that by making sure that those ends are off before it gets a chance to do that. Because once it does that, then you have a whole lot of breakage and your hair gets brittle and you're just going to have to cut it even higher. And nobody really wants to do that. So that's the purpose of getting your ends trimmed and making sure that you have a really good and even cut. So now that we have that done, it is nice and heavier. It is blunt um, and it is, look how much healthier it looks, you know? So now that that is complete, well, I'm still cutting. I'm still keep on talking about now that it's complete. 
but what we're going to also do is you know a trim is not limited to perimeter like you have to go in and go on the inside of that hair and get that look at that see that damage there so we're just going to go in and we are going to take that off of course yep see ya see ya splits it was two that bothered me i seen two little split ends up there when i was looking at the footage i said uh-uh like i missed two little splits but of course i'm sure i picked them up again and then what you do is you grab a little bit of hair from the first section and you hold it with that so it can be even with that you use it as a guideline to continue that trim all throughout her hair she's kind of getting more of a cut than a trim but you know, you ever get your ends trimmed and your hair looks even longer than when you started? That's like, that's because you can see that, that definition. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to go ahead and just give her a press. Now, with her press, now this is what my recommendation is. I recommend when you want a heavier press and you want to use, um, you, if you just want your hair to be heavy and fuller than usual or heavier like you could do this at any time actually it doesn't even have to be when you're just doing your hair for a quick press for the weekend you can just turn the heat down on the iron and the blow dryer so just like i said i blow dried it heavy flat iron it on a different heat too so i would say around like like if your hair can get a little straight at 400 because my hair can do that try at 400 first just try your first section on 400 see if it's okay use a bigger section and just press it or curl it like that and that way it leaves a lot of texture in your hair as you are going throughout it with the heat and then your hair will look heavier it will be heavier and it's a lot healthier for your hair not to have a higher concentrated heat on each section of hair I also know there are a lot of things going around about not using heat. I know we just talked about heat free journeys even in this video, but you can absolutely have super healthy hair and wear heat styles all the time. It's not always about trying to keep your texture or keeping your natural curls going. Like it's okay if you are a heat girl. Trust me, I was a heat girl for years and my hair was super healthy and beautiful. And all of my clients' hair was super healthy and beautiful as well. So don't let anybody bully you into any hairstyles or any type of journeys that you don't want to necessarily be in. It's okay. Like, it's literally okay. I always tell everybody, like, we are individuals and it is okay to be like, well, I love my hair straightened. And it's okay to say, well, I love my curls. But it's not okay to tell other people what they need to be doing with their hair, you know? So as long as your hair is healthy, it's fine. When you are flat ironing the hair, one thing that help you get through the hair with just one pass is you go through it, you go slow, and you do the chase method. Going slow, just make sure that you get every part of that section evenly and doing the chase method make sure that you get those ends nice and smooth without having to go back and tap them again now i notice a lot of times when people are pressing hair or pressing their own hair they tap the roots twice or three times or they go back over the ends twice or three times and that's not necessary as long as you take your time If you are a hairstylist, I want you to talk to me in the comments because I want to know what you specialize in and I also want to know what city you're in. So in Philly, um, doing hair, I was doing hair in Philly for almost 20 years and I just want to, like, it was all silk presses and stuff in the beginning and then slowly but surely because people saw me doing transformations all the time i would show the big curly hair on the left and then the transformation of the silk press on the right and then i would show them again two weeks later still with big curly hair because i never compromised the curl pattern so 
slowly but surely people start coming in more with big curly hair and they would be coming from out of town too because philly wasn't really like huge on natural hair but natural hair just got way more popular over the years like you know back in the 70s it was amazing it was certain people that just wore their big natural curls but slowly but surely the rest of us just start catching on like you know what this is a beautiful movement I want to be a part of you know that was my whole thing I was like I want my hair to be just I want to have options and I thought that that was okay so you know I also used to do pop-ups in different cities and I would go to DC and New York and Atlanta and when I tell you New York and DC every single woman walked in like you their hair came through the door before they did because it was just really popular in those cities so I want to know what city you're from and do you do more silk presses in your city or do you do natural curls and coils and all of that in your city let me know what goes on in your world Now, another thing I know y'all saw the quote today is comparison is the thief of joy. And although that can apply to so many different things in our lives, I also want you to know that when it comes to hair, you know, I do it too. I look at people and their hair, especially on my natural hair journey. I'm like, oh, my hair would be even better if it just hung low. I have super tight shrinkage. Like my hair can hang down past my shoulders, but when it's wet, is so tight and it looks super short and i'm like well if my hair could do what her hair does or if my hair just looked like that that's that's still in my joy it's more important to just understand my hair better so i always tell everybody just fall in love with your hair understand your hair accept it for what it is and do what you can to make it everything that you love it to be and that you want it to be you know what i mean because it's so easy to just look at other people's hair or other people's lives or other people's cars or other people's families and just assume that everything is just better over there where they, you know we think that the grass is greener and that's just not it so it's just really important to just accept yourself for everything that you are and just go from there <laughs> don't compare yourself to other people other things or anything because your life is your life so don't compare your hair. I know it wasn't about life, but we was going to go there. But don't compare your hair to other people's hair. Just love your hair for what it is and find the beauty in that. Okay? All right. Now I wrapped her hair with a baggie, plastic baggie. Put her under the dryer on cool air. Y'all, don't put y'all, don't go under the dryer with no hot air because it's going to look like before we started blow drying is all I've got to say. So... I'm doing this today. I know we're just doing silk press for the weekend, all well, a press for the weekend, but I just want to make sure that her hair is laid and nice and ready for the next couple of days um, until she's ready to shampoo it back down and go back to her regular day to day. So what this does is just setting it. Um, and like I said, cool air. I can't say that enough because you're going to be so sad if you turn down that heat. And now that her hair is down, you can see the heaviness, that weight. You can see the texture in her hair. Look at that. It still looks beautiful. Your hair doesn't have to be silky pin straight to come out beautifully at all. You know what I mean? Just look at it. Nice and healthy. <laughs> I'm here for it. How about y'all? Now, although this is a quick press for the weekend, you never know. It might last a little longer than that. All she has to do is wrap it up every night with a silk or satin scarf no cotton even when you have your big curly hair make sure that it is covered in silk or satin because that cotton will pull all that natural oil out of your hair and you don't want that thank you so much for watching y'all and i will see you next time <laughs>